What's up guys, this is KHLM and today I have another video for you guys and today I'm going to be talking about my hopes for E3 2015. So uh, I want to do this video, I don't know why I still haven't done it, but basically I'm going to be talking about what games I want to appear at E3 2015. E3 is in a few days or a day, I'm not sure, because I'm not really going to be watching any of the streams because it's going to be happening during my exams. But nonetheless, I just want to uh, tell you guys my list of games that I want at E3. And this, isn't, this list isn't what I think is going to come at E3, but it's games that I want to come at E3. And uh, this is kind of kind of a... Um, an excuse for me just to give the games that I really want to see in general. So a lot of these are really unlikely to become at E3 or come at all, like in the next few years. But I decided that I just want to give my list. Okay, so our uh, first game, which is something you guys want to expect from me, uh, something that you, this is something that you guys want to expect from me. But I actually want Kingdom Hearts 3 to come at E3. So in E3 2015, I want to see Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, something just maybe a trailer. Uh, character render something. I'm not gonna be talking too heavily about this since I've already talked about it a lot, but Kingdom Hearts 3 I really want to come at E3 2015. It's been getting more likely and more likely ever since uh, a few a few days ago There's been different types of news like uh, Square Enix I think re-uploading a picture to the website of the Kingdom Hearts 3 logo and they're releasing a video of uh of them teasing uh, a series that they're gonna show, things like that, and a lot of people think that Kingdom Hearts 3 has a much bigger chance to come than what it did before. So I think Kingdom Hearts 3 would come uh, this year at E3. It may be something really small, like maybe just announcing a little thing about it or something big like a trailer, but nonetheless, I hope they show at least something about Kingdom Hearts 3 in one way, form, or other. Now, the second thing I want in E3 2015 is Dragon Ball Z. So this is kind of vague, so I don't really know what I want at E3. So Dragon Ball Z, it could either come in a form of a new series, which I kind of think is unlikely since they kind of just started Xenoverse. Um, I'm not sure if they did this in the past or not, like if they had two series uh, at the same time. Like uh, they had a lot of different series such as Raging Blast, Budokan Takaichi, etc. Um, I don't know if they ever had a series at the same time, but if they did, I guess this would be possible. But right now they are working on the series of Xenoverse, and if they do only work on one series at a time, I'm pretty sure they'll focus on Xenoverse. Uh, since uh, I've heard that they're probably going to be making Xenoverse 2 next, and that's probably not going to be for another 2-3 years so i don't really expect that to be at e2 2015 but if there would be a chance for a new series i would love to see it another dragon ball z series and if a new series wouldn't come something that i actually want the most of dragon ball z is actually an hd remake of dragon ball z budokai tenkai g3 um uh this is a game this is my favorite game of dragon ball z mm. and uh, a lot of dragon ball z youtubers have even talked about um how uh, they talk to someone from Bandai Napco and say that there's a chance of it happening, but they still never heard of, uh, heard back from them. But there's still a very small chance of it happening, and if it happened, it would be something pretty amazing, and that's something what I would want most from from Dragon Ball Z. So uh, if something about Dragon Ball Z was at E3 2015, I would really love it and enjoy it immensely. Now the third thing I would want is uh, more footage or more things to be shown from the Ratchet and Clank reboot. Uh, just a few days back, they showed some gameplay of Ratchet and Clank in a trailer, and my lord, it's so beautiful! Like holy shit! Like to take it into perspective, when they had the game of Ratchet and Clank Crack in Time on the PS3, like the cutscene looks worse than the gameplay of the PS4 version. So, uh, so like the gameplay of the PS4 version looks better than the cutscenes of the PS3 version. It just looks so amazing! Like holy shit! Like it literally looks like you're playing through a movie of Ratchet and Clank, but it's so amazing. And uh, that's also another thing about it, is releasing side by side with the Ratchet and Clank movie, which is also something that I'm really excited for. So, I just want to see more things with Ratchet and Clank. I know they already gave so much gameplay, but I just, I just want more because it looks so freaking amazing. Just like Ratchet Clank, we just like uh, compared to like one of the first Ratchet and Clanks and how it's been evolving little by little. It's just re it's just like a series that I've uh, I've seen like from the start to finish. It's just pretty amazing. So I can't wait to see where it expands more from here and just how it looks. It's just amazing. I just want to see something about Ratchet and Clank the reboot. Now another thing I really want to see uh, announced at E3 2015. I'm not sure if it will be, but is another Sly Cooper game. Now Sly, I think could be done the same way as Ratchet and Clank. So like I said, Ratchet and Clank, it's uh, releasing side by side with a movie. So I was maybe hoping if the Sly could do the same thing, since its movie is also coming. I think also in 2016 or 2015. No, it's 2016. I, I'm not sure. But uh, the the Sly Cooper movie is coming, and I was thinking yeah, maybe if they could do the game. Uh, released uh, side by side with their movie and I think that'd be pretty amazing and I would also be hyped for the visuals uh, just like Ratchet and Clank. Obviously these games are next gen so uh, it's kind of exciting to see since uh, the developers really have much more 
uh, freedom to work with the games and the visuals are really the main things that I'm looking for right now since like I know they're gonna be right on with the story and the gameplay and something that I love is that they're still um, keeping the gameplay from the original games they're not really trying to change it much but the fact that they're actually trying to up the visuals so much more to make it pretty realistic is amazing and I can't wait to uh, see Sly if that even comes soon because I think they would do Sly pretty soon since um, the last Sly game I'm not gonna spoil it but the last Sly game kind of left off with a cliffhanger it would just make the most sense to make another Sly game and if it was only next gen only that'd be amazing because you could just see like the difference between next gen and current gen especially with the new ratchet and click reboot gameplay and that's just basically all i want to say about sly sly i just really want it at e 2015. now the next three games i'll be naming are highly highly unlikely well one of them is kind of unlikely but the other ones are highly unlikely the first one which is maybe it could happen i'm not sure i don't really keep up with the developers of this game or not but is infamous um i don't know what i really have no idea how the releases of infamous go uh how many years they release a the game or what they do but whatever it's just something in my head uh, because infamous second son was one of my favorite games for the ps4 actually right now i think for the ps4 it is my favorite game i think like i i even actually like bought the game before i even got my ps4 because i knew i was gonna love it it's kind of weird but infamous second son was an amazing game to me and whenever uh, someone asked me to recommend uh, them a game for a ps4 i always say infamous second son since i knew it was so amazing i just like I like played straight through the story of the game and I almost 100%ed it. I think I'm like 80 or 90 something, but uh, it's, it's just an amazing game and it has extra content you can do after you're done, which is this origami thing. Uh, like you actually have to go on your computer, do some detective work kind of thing, play some mini games and go back to the game. Uh, it's just amazing and I really think they could really make uh, another version. So the next infamous game, whatever it may be, I don't know what it would be about, but like they always keep upping their last and previous games, so I'm pretty sure they can do it again. So I really want another infamous game, and I don't know how it would be, but just getting another one would be amazing since I just, I was really glad with the uh, way that infamous second son came out. Since infamous one for me was like, okay, I wasn't too in it, uh, into it. Infamous 2 was much better than Infamous 1 in my opinion and I liked it a bit more but still it was, it was kind of a dark and gloomy game to me. The Infamous Second Son I think just like really turned it around and I just really loved the game so if they gave me another Infamous game I'd like that. Now another game, this one, it's kind of similar to Infamous, I don't think it's gonna happen maybe, I'm not sure. It's not confirmed to happen at all which is PlayStation All-Stars 2. PlayStation All-Stars is like the original which is the only one we have right now. I love the game and it's only on PS3 and I think if they did PlayStation All-Stars 2 on the PS4 they can make it pretty amazing and like just add much more characters because they have Delson from Infamous and they could add all the original characters and since it is an action game they could probably have a much much bigger roster. I talk about a huge roster I don't know how large it could be because I was like uh let me state this right now but playstation all-stars is like my go-to fighting game right now whenever like my uh, cousins or friends come over so when they come i usually play this with them so uh whenever you play the only disappointing thing is that the roster is only like um how much is it, is it like 20 i think it's 20 or maybe less because like about three or two of them are dlc so the roster is kind of disappointing but we still play and a lot of them we're not even familiar with like there's maybe there's like a few that we're familiar with the other ones are kind of classic characters or, cla or characters that we don't even know uh, but we still play the game. We love it. I love the mechanics of it I love how it plays, but I would really like uh, for them to make a next-gen version with a lot more characters and more familiar characters now that they're even making more characters So I think they can do that and one thing that I really want them to do is if they even don't have a big enough roster Is just maybe take more than one character from a series or a game so they could take two or three characters from a series which would uh, theoretically double or triple the number or the size of the roster which is pretty amazing if they do that so I think they could really do that and bring a PlayStation All-Stars 2 now just like I said with Infamous I don't know if this is even in the works I don't think it's in the works there has been like mini teases here and there I've seen uh, happen on Twitter a long time ago but uh, as for now it's not really confirmed at all and I don't uh, think it's confirmed I don't think it's happening but something that I would really want to see at E3 2015 and would get me hyped now the last game I'm going to talk about, this is like the most unlikely one which would probably never happen, like never never happen. And there's only one reason I'm putting it in this list is because it was slightly teased on Twitter a while ago which is Crash Bandicoot. Yeah I know it's, it's not likely but like I said this is the list of games that I want in general, not like it's actually going to happen but yeah Crash Bandicoot is a game that I want and the reason I'm bringing it up like I said I wouldn't really bring this up otherwise because it feels like it's never gonna happen but it was very slightly teased a while ago on Twitter when um I, I don't have it in front of me but I believe one of the PlayStation accounts I can't remember which one it was like you know they have PlayStation America PlayStation Europe blah 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 so one of the PlayStation accounts says, I think had a picture of um one of the characters and asked which character is this 
and then someone replied and they said what are you hiding playstation and then uh playstation replied with googly eyes that uh, uh emoji so that doesn't really confirm anything but uh the fact that they did that was kind of funny and kind of teases that they may be doing another crash game that people are saying because or usually they wouldn't be reply at all or just say nothing but uh since they kind of uh, replied back with kind of a mysterious kind of answer with the googly eyes. I feel like there is a chance of Crash Bandicoot maybe continuing. Maybe not soon, maybe not ever. Because they did that little act, because they replied with the googly eyes, I feel like there's better of a chance of it happening than there ever was before. So I just felt like uh, putting Crash in the list anyways. And yeah, so that's basically my complete list I would want in E3 2015. Like I said, I don't think most of these are gonna happen at E3, but this is what I want to happen in E3. And even if it doesn't happen in E3, these are just games that I want in general. Games I had in my mind that I was like, oh, I hope this comes in my lifetime. So yeah, these are just the games that I wanted and I want to share uh, with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. And remember to put down in the comments below, what's your E3 2015 list? I'm really excited and this video is probably going to be coming out kind of mid E3 now that I think about it. So some of these might even be debunked by then, but whatever, it's still the fun of it. It doesn't have to be E3 2015, it could be E3 2016 or another expo or announce whenever the hell it does get announced. These are just the games I really want in my lifetime. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to answer down below which games you guys want to see at E3 and remember the possibilities for Kingdom Hearts Unlimited. Later.